there's a gentle sea breeze blowing here at Pinkett and I took the opportunity to go and check on some sheep. Uh, you can see the work they're doing here on the new ring which is going to be really good for the sports day in January. Hopefully the weather holds up. I took the opportunity to cut a few off and work this bitch. She's primarily a, a cattle dog but um, I think there's still a lot you can do with sheep to help them even with their cattle work. If you're using them as a work dog and they've got a little bit of power and block they can get a little toothy on you when you're working cattle and sometimes you know they probably need to learn a little bit more about some footwork and some body position. Uh, so I've taken this opportunity to just yeah have a drive these sheep away and then um, when I get them away a little bit I'm going to uh, walk at these sheep and and push them at her and see if I can get her to lose ground but maintain control so that she um, doesn't feel she's got to put a heavy block on them all the time. I think you probably need to be a little careful with your cattle dogs doing this when they're too young because I think you know you you need them to learn to dominate and maybe have that little bit more aggression which I've done with this bitch but the last few times I've trialed her she started to get a little overconfident and um, when cattle break it, rather than sort of use a footwork and get positioned she sort of wanted to go get a hold of them and uh, yeah, that's not going to help me win any trials. So here I've just walked back at these um, at these sheep and I'm sort of more or less just quietly pushing them over the top of her. And I just want her to, to, to maintain control and, and stay aware but lose ground. You know, just keep them at a nice steady pace. And I'm using my away command here, which just... You know, I just wanted to keep some distance on the stock. I don't want to actually just back her straight up. I, I want her to keep turning in and covering her stock. But I want her to, to actually just lose a little bit of ground. And, you know, once I've done this for a bit, I'll walk back off the, the sheep again and I'll get her to bring them to me again. So that, you know, I balance this out. I don't just have her want to lose ground all the time. Here she's working quite nice, reminds me of a good cutting horse, good footwork. Now I'll bring them to me.